What is going on, everyone? Nathan coming back into their Pokemon Showdown Live. We are bringing back a classic today. We're going to be Nuzlocking against OU. If you've never seen me do this before, it's pretty simple. It's much like Nuzlocking against the cart games. Um, every Pokemon who faints must be treated as dead or gone for good, whatever you want to call it. Um, except the catch here is, well, that's funny choice of words there. I'm going to be catching Pokemon differently than the main Pokemon games. But I'm going to start with random 10 Pokemon from this bank of OU guys that I've got right here. And I must build it from these 10 that I start out with just randomly. And then every win on the ladder is going to let me catch two additional ones. So it's tough. It sounds pretty easy because, you know, with one win, I'm already up to 12 Pokemon as a pool that I can work with. But people don't realize how difficult it is to play Showdown without having any fainting whatsoever. It's one thing in the cart games where you can, like, manipulate that a little bit more easily. But Showdown is so built, especially singles, around, like, sacks and giving up Pokemon and letting some die reasonably, especially in an unpredictable metagame like Scarlet and Violet, that is, becomes very, very difficult. What I also like about this locking the ladder is it lets me interact with you guys, the viewers, a little bit more closely than it would with other videos, because we're gonna be doing, once again, viewer submitted Pokemon, where if you just leave me the nickname and the desired Pokemon, as long as it's usable, I'll throw it on the, this bank that it becomes an option for me to draw uh, every time we get two new Pokemon. Should be pretty fun. Um, you know, people get, get some pretty funny nicknames or, you know, sometimes they'll give me a classic like a Screamtail or a Slowbro. I'm like, let's go. Sometimes they give me, I don't know, like a Pinch Urchin or a Poltegeist and I'm not so fond of you guys, but that's half the fun. Because again, you, you don't want only OU Pokemon. It is going to be a challenge. Like, look, let's, I could leave out number five here and this would be a difficult enough challenge just because like, going far on the ladder without having Pokemon sacks is very difficult. But this adds like a little bit of an extra fun spice and challenge to it. Uh, so we're going to start by drawing my Pokemon here. Okay, so it's hard to find something that'll draw 10 numbers in a row here, but random.org has like a bit of a lottery draw that we can do here. So it gives us 10 digits all between 133, and we're just going to generate, right, this isn't the one, we're going to generate it from this. Okay, so that's what we got, and I'm going to send it to the side. We get Amoongus, 11, Dragonite, my boy, 15, Glamora. That's not going to stick around for very long. Great Tusk is a great one to get early on. 19 is Inteleon. 21 is Iron Shreds. Uh, I guess it's a backup Great Tusk. Meow Skirata. 29, Ting Lu. A little bit redundant here is what I'm seeing. A lot of ground types. Walking Wake and Zoroark History. Okay, that gives us a ton to work with. So I'm going to throw this all into a team box, and then we'll team build from there. Okay, so here's all the Pokemon in this one box here. Um, we can add to it as I draw and select more. I just basic sets just to get it going here. Um, again, like I kind of mentioned, kind of redundancy where there's three Pokemon with similar roles, just like bulky utility, hazard setting, ground types. Clamora, I think is almost always best as a hyper offense sash lead. That would just be like fully giving it up to die and accepting that. You know, maybe we save it later on and maybe if I get this is a very successful run. Later on, I will do that and try to trade, you know, one for two if that's the case by getting up so many hazards with it. But for now, I'm gonna just avoid it. And if I do use it, it would probably be Scarf. Some things that jump out to me, I think Dragonite's gonna be awesome in this because it's very likely early on in the ladder to just sweep 6-0. So that's super exciting. Um, Neoscarada's similarly like got awesome power as well as Walking Wake. So I think we're gonna start by doing, let's build this team here. I'm going to throw Walking Wake on. And then I will throw Great Tusk. It's, it's, it's the, the ultimate question in this is, do you use your best Pokemon and hoping that you won't like lose any Pokemon, try to go for a perfect run? Or do you use a knockoff of it in Iron Treads case saying like, I'll play it safe. And that way if something happens, it's not happening to my most valuable guy because Great Tusk is dead for good then if that's the case. Although I don't know, I've really decided if you, the viewer say Great Tusk is your favorite Pokemon and like, you know, name him Keith, like do I throw that guy in there as well? I think you're allowed duplicates and Nuzlocke if one's already died. I mean, it depends on what rule you subscribe to, obviously, but I think I would allow that. So, I mean, actually, hell, if we're talking about that idea though, of like, you know, do you use the good one or the bad one? Like Walking Wake versus Inteleon, like Inteleon's actually a pretty good knockoff Walking Wake as well. So I've got those three is just an offensive core for my team. That's actually really solid. I can't complain there. I am scared of letting them go. I want to leave Ting Lu and Zoro or Kisui because they work in conjunction later on. So if I need a, a, like a little core going on uh, later in the run, I can refer to that. Yeah, you know, Iron Shreds versus Great Tusk then. It's, it comes down to that question. I am going to, you know, I don't have a Steel type. So if that's the case, you know, Great Tusk combines well with Corviknight. 
If you don't have a Corviknight, maybe Iron Tusk is the better option. So I'm actually gonna do that plus again. If I'm wrong and someone's gonna die, Iron Tusk is not the worst, especially knowing about a, a, a great Tusk in the back. Iron Treads. I probably said Iron Tusks this whole time. I apologize. Um, that only gives us four though. Did I do this right? Three, six, eight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am missing one. What, what's going on here? Three, six, nine. Oh. I missed one in here. Zora gives me a Tinglu. Yes, Grana, Iron Chase, Intellion, Glamora, Dragonite. Amoongus. I am missing one. Okay, Amoongus will probably throw one too. Okay, I'm glad I double checked actually. That would have been really. To, to short myself one to start would have been pretty tough. Uh, okay, so we'll throw you in and then. Oops. We'll throw you in and then immediately throw you on the team. Again, kind of redundant defensively with having, like, we already have a grass type. Like, I, I love having a grass defensive core on my team. But this is definitely redundant. Um, I'm actually going to change your EVs to so your max fizz death. Um, then I can make you max spud death. Just so we can have some assurance against a walking wake of the opponents. And I don't know, maybe actually you should make the argument that I should make you. Uh, I can make you Assault Vest specially defensive in order to help against Dragapult, who I'm pretty scared of right now. Especially he's got Flamethrower, and that way I can resist Draco Meteors. That's not a bad idea. Or I just suck it up and throw in the Ting Lu, which I'm kind of avoiding right now, and I need to find a last one anyway, right? I did want to combine it with uh, Zora Kissy, but I'll just have to be careful about it, because, yeah, my team's pretty weak right now uh, to a lot of special attackers. Okay, Ting Lu's in. We are defensive core. We'll make it work. Um, Stealth Rock Spikes. Okay, I, I, I do want to change you then. I, I will actually go with my gut there. Make you Assault Vest. Then Amoongus is going to get more Fizz Def. Instead of Stealth Rock, we'll go with... It's going to be Knockoff, I guess. Um, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel actually reasonably optimistic about this. And then Ting Lu is Max Bedef 2, but its base defense is so high we around to make you higher, then you can deal with Miascarada and stuff like that. I guess you can answer against a lot of, off the top of my head, physical attackers. Okay, I'm worried about King Ambit, but Ting Lu might be able to handle that with these defenses as is. For no reason. I should, I, that's the problem with this as well as if I took an extra hour to team build with what I've got, I could definitely have something a little bit in you know better shape and like not just do random EVs like I'm doing right now. But I just want to get into the game because we might be team building between every match at this point. If I, you know, if I, if I have new information, new Pokemon incoming, I might do that. So anyways, we're going to hop into it here with my first brush here. I got to hope I don't go against any Smurfs early on. Hopefully just some noobs on the ladder. We do see an Orthworm, which is, I guess, a good sign. But it's also Sun, which is like notorious for needing a lot of sacks. So that's really scary. Um, I'm going to go with as a lead. Uh, Walking Wake does not see a lot of bad matchups right now. You are scary. Man, you're going to screw up my whole team, man. Especially now that I made a, my Amoongus Fizz Def. You are going to screw everything up. But Dragonite looks very interesting, especially Terra. So if I can get rid of you, things start to open up for us a lot. Although in Sun, Fire Punch also becomes really scary too. Do we have EQ? We do. Okay. Um... I'm thinking I'm going to see you or you, then Walking Wake's a good lead. Great. Okay, we get that off the gates. Uh, Hydro Steam and Draco Meteor Okos. We know it's not Zoro Orchistory, thanks to Sun being up. There's no swap in for Draco Meteor except for Orthworm, who I'm not afraid of, whereas Hydro Steam does have one okay swap in. Just going to sack right at the gates. That's not bad. That way, I only have to deal with Sun for eight turns. Not the end of the world. Walking Wake, super important too. If they send out theirs, though, is the ultimate question of like, what do you do here? You can't Oko me right away. Um, 56. They Solar Blade for 69% damage here. Draco Meteor can't kill. Um, hmm. Solar Blade Meow Skirata could definitely come in at this point. If that's what I'm afraid of. And he resists. As long as I don't go with a fire move, which I don't think he would do here because it's a four times resist. Meow Skirata is pretty safe. This is like it's terrifying to do in a Nuzlocke. But okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, you also can't do anything to me, so I guess I'll just knock off and, you know, take my pound of flesh or 34 measly percent in a rocky helmet. Rocks go up. We're going to go to Iron Shred here as they click. 
spikes. Um, see, we're early on the ladder. I don't know if my opponent's smart enough to go to Azor or Kisui right now. Okay. Maybe they had the right idea. <laughs> Pretty confused, honestly. Um, knockoff should kill, and we should be faster. I guess we're going to risk it. Oh, it's Scarf. Oh my, well, there goes, there goes that guy. It really killed, huh? 74% chance. Our first death, our first death. It's really sad. Okay, so your Scarf, Bitterblade Fire. Uh, I, you know, I'm going to use Shodex now more than I ever have in my life. I could go for the dub right now with Dragonite, especially having a boosted Fire Punch for you. That's not a bad idea. I want to play it a little bit safe right now. Go for this. And just take my kill, honestly. Um, I think this might be a two-hit KO on, on Orthworm, honestly. Let's see. Or, okay, two-hit KO is a little bit <laughs> underselling it then. There goes the sun. Much less scary for us. I think without sun, we can handle uh, Walking Wake fine. Uh, I'll, it'll, be, it'll be scary. Again, without, without any sacks as an option, it's pretty scary pretty quickly. What do we click here, man? Um... Physical Amoongus with Regenerator. So even if it's like a fire move, I think I'm okay. That's great. Uh, we're actually super effective with Sludge Bomb here. Um, I'm going to do so. I'm going, that's, I'm going, let's, let's ride it. Let's ride. Broncos Country. Let's ride. Sandy Shocks comes out next. A good play. We even get the poison there. That's awesome. Um, you can't do too much to me. I, hmm. Earth power is 44%. Giga Drain is 60%. I'm going to take it. Oh, nothing, man. Nothing. I was tempted to go to Ting Lu, which would have been a great play, obviously. But uh, we can do it now. We're still in regenerator range, which is good. Um, oh, they're left used too, though. So they could Earth power here. No, sir. And then we're going to go for, uh, I guess, spikes. That's nothing. Nothing to me. Oh, we get a second layer up? Right on. Okay. That's gonna help. Okay. Hopefully we don't lose any more than just this poor, unfortunate iron treads. Which, you know, that's kind of a sacrificial lamb in this. Sorry, but that's fine. We're okay with it. They really just want this uh, the Sandy Chucks to die. <laughs> they really just want it dead. <laughs> that's so sad. No Pokemon should have to ever have to deal with that. Um, this is interesting. So you're you Solar Blade, which is a two return attack. I've got to imagine you've, you've already revealed fire and water. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You came in right now. Serial Edge was, I think that actually is Zoro Arkisui. So I'm fearing a Focus Blast right now, which can't even kill me. Um, I'm so I'm so confused on what to do right now. I think I go, I think I stay in. Even if it's a close combat, I think we're okay from a Serial Edge if it's Scarf. Yeah, okay, this person has no idea what the type chart's at. Okay, that was the Zoro Kisui. There's the actual Serial Ledge, who can either hit, I think they've got Close Combat as their last move. Um, and Solar Blade, we're not really afraid of. So I'm gonna go to Amoongus. Amoongus completely walls to get from what we understand. As long as they don't click Bitter Blade, of course, but even then we'd be fine. Um, and then we Sludge Bomb. Walking Week's still a little bit scary, but with all these hazards up, I think we're good to get a game two going. Oh yeah, nice, 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 nice. Uh, just don't click a fighting move. Just don't click a fighting move. Please don't Terra Blast me. That's nothing, man, we're fine. Um, Q. Just a little bit scared of walking away. That's, that's where my head's at. Just a little bit, little teensy, teensy bit scared. They're just dead. I just like, I, I can beat this guy, but I just don't want to lose, you know? Um, your choice specs. I'm just, I'm just sorry. I, I, I shouldn't be thinking. I should be thinking it loud instead of thinking internally. I guess I just Terra is the play. And then I can switch accordingly based on what they click. Okay, that wouldn't have killed anyways. Well, I didn't just preemptively go to Amoongus. Okay. That's very good. It's very nice. Celebratory bird, bird up. up. 
Now we get to add two new Pokemon. So we're gonna bring this back and uh, draw a number between one and 33, Google. Google can't even do that, really? Can we get 14? Um, 14 is going to be Golden Go, interesting. And then uh, 13, Gargoner. Okay. Okay, well, let me throw this in. So right out the gates, let's uh, say goodbye to Iron Treads. I'm sorry, my folly cost you your life. So long, brave soldier. But you know, we look at these new Pokemon and what strikes me now is that we could, if we want to have an enormous amount of hazard control, right? Um, we've got a great spinner. We've got Ting Lu, we've got a Moongus. Um, I might throw on Glamora over Walking Wake here. And we can just control the hell of the hazards, you know? I'm kind of what I'm thinking. I'm, there's there's a lot of weaknesses in our team. Again, I I want to go through the the viability rankings and be like, all right, who is my team like exposed to yada yada? But like, try to we can't do this for every between every match. Oh, I just added you twice. I'm so sorry, Golden Go. That was so like, look, Golden Go. If I could add you twice, I would rather. I would, but alas, um, might actually make it. Did I just post him? Oh my, what is happening? What is this? Is chaos. I'm, I'm, I'm multitasking too much. Uh, I think I might make this uh, air balloon because I do worry a little bit, even with the double grass types, about ground attacks. This just makes just gives us a little bit of extra immunity to stack on our side here. And frankly, Iron Valiant gives me a lot of pause. Amoongus will have to shore that up. Maybe I make them Spadef instead. Um, we did lose that Assault Fest Mon, so I think I'll make you... Holy Spadef, you can kind of high handle Iron Valiant there. Um, not well. Not very well at all. Golden Go is actually not too bad against it either. We have like lots of okay things. We just have to like sack them on if we're being honest. Uh, okay, that's a pretty good team. I should probably be angling more to get a sweep, if I'm being honest. It's kind of high risk, high reward. But that way you don't lose a on. Okay, so we'll do this. I think I'm gonna call it here afterwards just because we spent more time team building than I would like to otherwise. Maybe, you know, let me know in the comments what you think with the organization, organization of the series. Maybe you guys want me to edit around my team building process just explain it after the fact. Maybe you want that to be the feature because it's kind of like a draft league where if you have to like team build with interesting constrictions um, and only only get a couple games in a match. If you wanna see that, let me know. Like this whole form, I, I love this, this series, but you know, it's up to you guys to let me know what you like and what could probably stay. Um, once again, Dragonite, ooh, at plus one. The problem is um, you two could be pretty nasty if you're scarfed. Um, but Dragonite, I definitely, if I got the opportunity to set up, would be very good. Uh, we no longer have Walking Wake to just Oko this annoying uh, Torkoal. How does my Glamora match up 1v1 here? Uh, I can't Oko with Power Gem. Okay, wow. That would probably be the play then. Um, Ting Lu, fine lead. Uh, definitely don't want to lead you two. So I think it's Glamora. I thought for sure. We, I just, in my heart of hearts, thought we'd see Torkoal there. Um, but if this is where Talc is very useful, Sludge Wave Oko's uh, has a chance to at least Oko Zoroark. 37% chance, but add 10% in case we get a poison. And if it is indeed Seru Ledge, then we want to Power Gem for a 33% chance to Oko. I guess we just Power Gem and go for the two at kill regardless of how this works out. Um, and if things get hairy, we can swap back to Ting Lu. I don't think you can kill me at all. There's like no world where you kill me. Does it get a kill? Is revealed to be Zoroark. Ooh, like we knew that Glamora is a bad mod for this format. Like <laughs> staying healthy is tough. Your best asset being when you get hit, you drop hazards. That's pretty scary. So <laughs> I didn't even know Zoroark got psychic. Honest to God, if you had asked me before this, Nathan, tell me about Zoroark's um, move pool. Psychic would not have made the list. Uh, should be able to Oko here. I'm just going to bleed Tal Calc decks. Um, that is with Spadef. EV investment? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Glamora, you deserve a better trainer than me. I'm so sorry. I'm really. I read Calc decks wrong. Because Calc decks, they don't. They, they show the final stats. It's not as features the EVs, which is what I want. But um, that's tough. <laughs> that break. We're going to. It depends on what status he has, right? If it's Yawn or Lava Plume. 
Dragonite's a bad play, but if they don't have those two, then Dragonite is just setting up all day. But I can't imagine it's not Lava Bloom. It's hard to imagine. Uh, just, I don't want him to Rapid Spin though. The goal is to get a kill. In which case, if I go Golden Go, it invites in Sero Ledge, who I can probably go to Ting Lu on, or get a Dragonite on. And they forfeit. I gotta be able to take it. Wow. Uh, I'll do one more if that's the case. Uh, let's see. We got uh, two more to draw. So I'll go go. 24. You already have Meowth Skarada. 29. You already have Ting Lu. Volcarona, please. We already have Golden Go. We do not have Iron Moth. Interesting. I don't think I'll change the team if that's the case. 28. Uh, Slow King is very interesting. Well, we have to choose the team somewhat because so long, Glamora, you are dead. That was kind of bound to happen, but he bought us two very useful Pokemon. All right, we just threw Iron Moth in because I don't want to spend too long team building right now. I'm trying to wrap this up here. Hopefully we don't regret it. Like if I lose, it's just a devastating turn of events. But sure enough, we get three Pokemon. I love you bottom of the ladder. Uh, Iron Moth, pretty bad matchup in this. Yoskarada, not great. Ting Lu. Imagine if I lose this. It'd be all time. Dragonite's spectacular lead, of course. Um, I guess I don't want to lead Dragonite, though, because Intimidate and you're just not the best matchup right at the gates. I'd rather Ting Lu against you. So I'll go Ting Lu. And if I see one of you two, if I see you, I Whirlwind. If I see you, I Earthquake. If I see you, I set up and then Whirlwind. Great. That's perfect. We're going to have Stealth Rocks here. Hopefully, I don't have any hazards. Um, you can tear ice, but I'd be thrilled if you burn that for 40% damage early on. Hyper Voice is going to do even less, like 25% maybe. So we're going to get Stealth Rocks up immediately. Gets us in the perfect footing. I think Dragonite just wins. Oh, oh, brother. Oh, oh, brother. Toxic quick. Oh. Oh, no, no. Worse than I thought. <laughs> I just feel bad now. It's just ruined my mood. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna leave the next drawing for the next one here. We have, we're off to an amazing start. I've got, what? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. In the box, we have uh, 12 Pokemon, 14 eventually after we add these two guys. Getting a win with a forfeit is amazing for us. It's the ideal circumstance. Let me know what you guys wanna see if you wanna add onto this thing. If you have ideas on how I should change the Nuzlocke in the latter series, let me know, because again, it's very, you know, in the air and flexible. Other than that, I'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye.